Ooh, all right, baby. Week one, here we go. NFL season. Everyone's ready to get this kicked off and started. We got real football. We got fantasy football. A lot to be thankful for. You smell that? That's a smell of Bloody Marys and barbecue, baby. Sunday fun day. Let's go. So many directions to go with this. What do we do at the beginning of a season? But I think one of the most key aspects of figuring out your Sunday is a wardrobe situation. How are you going to represent your fanhood, your team, and your fantasy team all at the same time? So let's walk through the scenarios here. All right. So let's say before the games get started, you want to go squeeze in a quick 18 holes. Well, I think it's wise that you have a little polo number. A uh, nice option with the collar and something to keep it classy to say. I'm also looking for game day after I shoot over 100. Um, but then you also have the classic, I'm going to wear a jersey situation, RIP Jamal. But remember, if you're going to go the jersey route, expect to eat a lot of food, uh, be very lethargic after wings and a lot of salty fries because you're not going to get laid wearing a jersey. No woman finds a man over 30 attractive in one of these boxy, baggy-ass, huge things. Uh, other than that, you need to be prepared for another option. If NASCAR vomited and made a chief shirt, this is what it would look like. And yeah, it's uh, something my mom got me last year after Kareem blew up, and it was awesome, and I never wore it until at the end of the season when the Chiefs went on like that six-game winning streak. So it's a little bit of a lucky charm. Uh, until those shitty playoffs. Mariota caught his own fucking pass for a touchdown. I hate life. All right, here we go. Then you're also going to need maybe a dry fit once in a while. If you're sitting around wondering why Mahomes is running around through a leaky offensive line and you're scared the face of the franchise is going to get hurt, you need the dry fit. You're going to be sweating a lot. So it's very helpful. And then maybe you might be preparing for one of those blistering Midwest November days in which you're going to need to bust out the old starter jacket from back when Joe Montana was throwing the football for the Kansas City Chiefs. Woo! And then there's also what I like to call the Superman. Now, you're going to need this if you go to church on a Sunday and you're trying to rush home and you jet to make that noon kickoff. And then all of a sudden, you're going to walk in the door running late and you just bust out the outfit because I don't have time to change, kick off my shoes, watch some football. Is that Tyreek returning the opening kick for a touchdown? Wow! Now, what I recommend here is a very thin cotton blend. Very loose and yet tight under the polo. So... There you go. Those are your game day recommendations. Oh, sorry, I forgot. We have some different fan bases in the league that I need to uh, respect and appreciate. Here are some Dolphins for Matt. Here's a Viking for those Cody boys. Hemsworth is an attractive man. And then, uh, yeah, for Josh Welker, a little vintage. I know his style. He's not that hard of a Chiefs fan. He's more of a Mark Bolger. Get that old St. Louis Rams action going. So... There you have it, boys. Sunday fun day. Let's get it going.